optimizing those. Very pretty. Optimizing lures, oops, running commands. Oops, and it's running way too fast, so I got some dialing room to do. Did not even put the leader down. Turbo shot. Let's do low, yeah, low pressure. Not that I have a choice. 16 grams in, 37 out. Second shot with the uh, Mizen Burrs on the P64. Um, should be pre infusing now, but <laughs> may have crammed too fast, uh, too fine. Uh, first shot ran super fast. Oh, see a little drip poking through. Alright. Shoot, I didn't start a timer, but it's been at least 30 seconds, because we're 30 seconds into this video, since I've pulled up the lever. Well, I basically didn't have to start that, because now we're pulling down the lever. Oh, that looks good. This is vibrant. Seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty. This is only fifteen grams of coffee. Should be good. This is interesting. It looks dry. So I wonder if we got some pretty bad channeling. Because it was ground way too fine. Yeah. Okay, so here we have a dozen cup, which you can find typically, um, except this one has a rubber. A silicone jacket which helps my 3d printed uh, 58 millimeter um, adapter for the DF64 to stay up on there and then I have a 51 millimeter dosing cup inside of it so now it is a good height sitting on top of the forks to fit uh, into my 51 millimeter Euro Piccola portafilter, which I think I'm gonna put away and uh, pull out my the, uh, ECM Synchronica again soon. So yeah, um, that would be good. Uh, but I have been liking this guy. Uh, yeah, it's a good machine, especially considering the price difference from the uh, Synchronica. Uh, yeah, I found uh, temperature-wise, it's pretty good. Uh, okay, so I just installed the Meisen burrs, uh, which I did not season. I just put I pulled a couple shots yesterday. So let's see how it grinds. 16 grams, we are at 6 out of 9. Sounds like a Jimi Hendrix song. Um, yeah, I do notice they are quieter. Uh, well, right now there's no coffee, but wait for it. Okay, so it's getting clumps, yeah, so you see that? A little static. A 
a lot of static. So I've been getting clumps where it like comes out in bursts. It looks like the declumper or something's holding it back, which is not ideal. So let me give it a little tap. Let's see if anything comes out. That's probably like 0.1 of a gram. Uh, also, ramping up the RPM sometimes get a little more. Gets a little more. Okay, nothing. Let's go back to six so that I don't do second shot differently. Um, I was going to demonstrate that uh, when you put the lid on, it does quiet it down a little more. This does not come with it. Um, something extra, but you can do a 3D printed one, also quiets it down. So that was the old zero point. Uh, that's why that marker is there on top. Um, but my new zero point is more like negative five. That's with the misenbers, with the shims. Um, added to them to give them extra height. So the first version was a little short for some grinders, apparently. I didn't try it. So let's see if this shot is dialed in, because yesterday, uh, two shots, not dialed in, and I didn't feel like having any more coffee. So let's see how the shot goes. Okay, all you've missed is I pulled up the lever, and uh, it is pre-infusing, and I'm not seeing any drips, so I may have gotten too fine. It's hard to see with uh, the cup in the way. This cup's a little tall. Let's get down. I can't see. Uh, so that's about a 30 second pre infusion. I'm going to start pulling down. Mm, yeah, I think I'm getting a little drips in the, the back corner there. Which usually it starts on the front corner. So. so starting off gentle. Oh, my scale is. Uh, Messing up because I think when I push on the lever, this touches the. Yeah, it's putting a little extra weight on the cup as I'm pushing, pulling. But luckily, only like 60 grams, so I'm not gonna damage the scale. But yeah, so it's messing up my. <laughs> Definitely confusing the scale that way. This is such a light roast. The crema is like golden, weird color. I think it's a anaerobic process. It's it's a wild, weird coffee, but uh, could be good. So we got nine grams. No, it's not what we actually got. This is a quartado sized cup. Shut up, scale. Yeah. So. I don't know, I think I'm getting a little bit of bitterness, but that could just be because I ground too fine and uh, the way I did a 30 second pre-infusion. Um, maybe less is more for this one. Um, but as it cools, I think it's getting better. So, I tried a bit, didn't get any sugar or anything. Uh, I will add sugar, maybe I'll, I think I'll make it with milk actually. This isn't the fruity one that I thought it was. It was uh, the other coffee um, that I was confusing with. Um, it is still pretty fruity, but not like the the crazy, like unnatural kind of uh, anaerobic processed flavor that some of these coffees can have, uh, which I don't know if I love. A lot of times it's just weird. I think I noticed like it does have with these burrs, there's more of an unami, like, I wouldn't say it's like a conical, but it does remind me of, uh, I had one shot, had a, a place with the 80 millimeter sweet lab burrs, and uh, yeah, kind of is like that. It's a little more savory. Not quite like a conical burr, and a little different than a flat burr in a way. Uh, just because of the bird geometry, uh, it's a little different, but uh, yeah, I think I'm getting that. Um, know, not the best clarity, um, but enough that it's like, it's good. I thought this might be a good comparison with the DF83, because that has pretty good body and pretty balanced clarity, but I'd say that's more like traditional, more like a normal shot, and this is more... I don't know, it just has like a different style. Um, and I think with bigger burrs, like the 83 millimeters, um, you do get more rounded edges. This might be a little sharper still. 
Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to get them both out and uh, compare the DF83 with the um, the Meisenbers. But so far, I am liking them better than what I remember the SSP cast burrs being like. Because I, I, I kind of remember, like, I'm so confused. I don't know. Like, I thought I might have liked the SSP cast burrs at first. And then um, later on, I just, I don't know. I just remember thinking they taste like a, a low-end conical grinder that has no flavor clarity and uh, just a lot of body and bitterness. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, actually I don't even think it had that much body. Um, I don't know if it was bitter, I, I don't know, but usually like low-end conicals are bitter, but uh, I just remember there being no flavor clarity. This, I think I'm getting some flavor clarity that, you know, I don't feel like I'm missing out on the, the flavors of the coffee. Um, so, so far I'm liking them. Uh, this is like my first dialed in-ish shot. So I'm gonna do another one with the other coffee, which is actually really, uh, this is the really fruity one. I'm gonna do 16 grams in this and I usually get like 24 out, so pretty ristretto style. Although I used to get 30, I did just adjust this nut and I probably made it so I'm getting even more ristrettos, but I used to get about 29, 30 grams out, so you can uh, get bigger shots with this, but I've been liking the results. Um, yeah, with light roast, you just need a longer pre-infusion to make sure it extracts and uh, yeah. 20, 30 seconds, usually, that's what I do. I like the Meisenbergs so far. I don't know if they're gonna be my main choice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Needs more, need to season it, and I need to do some more experimenting with different coffees, for sure. Starting to drip through, just about right. All right, I'm gonna pull the lever now, it's been 25 ish seconds for the pre-infusion. Oh, I've got a whole 31 ish grams out more clearly it's not giving me that much Let's see how that is with the meisenbergs wow 36 i put in 15 grams so yeah bigger than a one to two ratio yeah this one's a this one's a wild like weird wild coffee so it's like coffee with like fruit punch a little bit of a bitterness, at least when hot. Sometimes they get better as they cool. Let's go back to try the other one. Here's a different coffee. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it is gonna get better as it cools. Let's try this one. Hmm. This one, now I'm noticing more, maybe it's just the flavor of the coffee actually, because I had that before. This one has more of like a vegetal, like an under roasted taste, which I obviously don't like. Hmm. I didn't notice that at first, but now that I'm contrasting with this coffee, yeah, I'm liking this one better. At least while they're warm. I mean, well, that one's warm and then this one is now cold. Yeah, very strange. Now, I thought this one was bitter when it was hot. And now I'm, says, I'm thinking it's more sour. Hmm. Very funny how coffee changes sometimes. Or usually, as it cools. Yeah, I like the uh, the longer shot that I pulled with this coffee. It turned out pretty good. Um, 
I think this one would be probably too intense if I did a ristretto. I've done it the other day and it was, uh, yeah, I think I like it better this way. It's uh, too bad you don't get too much control with this thing. That's the only uh, downside. Uh, you can control it by basically putting less coffee in and then the water will fill up more, um, more space. It'll have more space to fill. Um, So I think it's just that coffee, it's just the way, oh, just the way it tastes. Unless I keep brewing it badly. But I only noticed it once I compared it with this one. This is the first one. The big cup. That's the second one. Hmm. It's not bad once you um, once you adjust to it, but like when you try another coffee and then go back to it, I'm noticing the, the vegetal taste. Added some sugar now. Hmm. Oh yeah, that one's nice. A little bit of a lingering, clean lingering taste, not like. Very clean, actually. Not as, um, like, I like the multi purpose, uh, SSB multi purpose burrs, but. The flavor doesn't linger, it's just there and then it's gone, which is what a lot of people say. This lingers a little bit, it fades away. Yeah, not bad. Um, a little bit of a richer texture. So, they are pretty good. Um, despite the vegetable flavor, but I think that's just the coffee. But the burrs... I think are going to be good. Um, apparently they get better when you season them. So uh, someone was saying to throw some rice, uh, not regular rice, but parboiled or uh, minute rice. So I might try that and uh, I'll let you know if it's a disaster.